July 2nd, a day that will live in infamy. It was the day that the crazy plane lady entered our world and became my newest bank bank material. In case you guys somehow live underneath a rock and haven't seen the situation, this is what happened. Hey, whatever you want. I'm telling you, I'm getting the f off, and there's a reason why I'm getting the f off, and everyone can either believe it or they cannot believe it. So she was on a plane freaking out that somebody was not real. She was allegedly saying they were a lizard person. And I have to tell you guys, she's a fucking baddie. I don't give two f Look at her. She I is fucking gorgeous, yo. Exactly my type of woman. And the search after this whole incident was on. Nobody knew who she was. Nobody knew where she was from. It was basically like she was a fucking fictional person. Like in the Matrix. Everybody wanted to find out where this lady was at. So the hunt was on. They did a whole huge thing. And apparently people have found out who she was. They found out her name is Tiffany Gomez. And they found out her job. Where she lived and everything. The internet went crazy over this whole thing. Now let me guys. Let me touch on this. Because I never thought she was crazy. Because she was saying that somebody was a reptilian. In fact I'm a bit of a conspiracy theorist myself. I fully believe that there are reptilians out there among us that control and run a lot of things in the government. You can call me a fucking lunatic or a weirdo for thinking that, but I think otherwise. I agree to some of these things. I think we're definitely in a fucking weird prison planet type of situation, and if she saw something, and she's obviously this fucking terrified, and she doesn't look like she's on drugs, she saw some shit. And she had a full-on meltdown. I mean, like, even in, like, the boarding area, down the fucking, you know, ramp that leads to the plane, she was going nuts. She lost her mind. That was a person that saw something that scared the fuck out of them. And everybody at some point has a meltdown like this. And it's not a good place to be in. I know it's kind of mean-worthy when you're saying, you know, that motherfucker ain't real and blah, blah, blah. And July was kind of a weird slow news day. This was the biggest news of July, honestly. And this was all amidst all this UFO talk and the UFO committee revealing all this information and stuff. And we have a lady literally saying she sees something that is not human. Telling you I mean, right you can look at this. She is legitimately terrified. That motherfucker back there is not real. He's and not you real. Can sit on this plane and you can die with them or not. I'm not going to. Bye. I would personally be the same way if I saw a shapeshifter. I, I would freak the fuck out. Anyways, I think she's a complete gorgeous baddie. And if she's watching this, you are fucking milf-alicious. <laughs> and I want to take you out for eggs and pancakes. So hit me up. Now the mysterious thing is that she literally disappeared off the face of the internet for like a good month. And now she's returned. In fact, she made a statement and I don't know if she was forced to do this by anybody. If you go the conspiracy way, maybe the men in black and the FBI and every three-letter agency told her that she needed to uh, say something in damage control. Or maybe she's genuinely fearing for her safety and her privacy because there's a whole bunch of people that are trying to find her location. They're stalking her, doxing her. Who knows, right? And again, this is another photo right here after the incident where she's literally being paparazzi by the New York Post in the airport after freaking out. She was in the limelight for a solid month and everybody on the internet trying to figure out who she was. It, it, this is, this is going to go down in the history books, ladies and gentlemen. Now she's on Twitter. Like I mentioned, this is her official Twitter account. She put a statement in a video out. The video is not too long it's an apology but she also said i apologize and take accountability for my actions they were uncalled for she said her very worst moment was captured on video and you got to sympathize and relate to that man we've all had panic attacks like i said in the past and it's not a good feeling especially when you're in the moment and your body's doing one thing but your mind is saying another and you're acting opposite of yourself it's a scary thing and she was in the limelight because of her freak out as funny as it might be to say, you know, that motherfucker ain't real and to talk about aliens and reptilians and stuff like that and to say that she's a very sexy woman, you got to look at her perspective and see that, you know, yeah, this was her worst moment. 
and she's become literally internet meme history at this point. She said, although the memes have been amusing, the flip side has been cruel. I'm thankful for my friends and family for supporting me through this. The experience has been life altering and I hope to do good from it and promote positive mental health. Stay tuned. So yeah, we're gonna take a look at this video. That was a pretty solid uh, response in my opinion. The video I, I haven't seen, so we're gonna be watching it for the first time right here. Let's check it out. Tiffany Gomez, probably better known as the crazy plain lady, which is completely warranted. I mean, she's owning up to it. Crazy plain lady. She's saying it's completely warranted. Yeah, you can tell she's not too happy about that. Also, let me say, you know, I didn't think she looked half bad, not made up in the plane. She wasn't wearing makeup. Here she is. She still looks fucking milfalicious. But in the plane, you know, even not even not really made up, she looked pretty hot. As you know, I have been unwilling to speak on the viral video, but I do finally feel that it's time. First and foremost, I want to take full accountability for my actions. See, the one thing I don't get though is is why is she apologizing and taking accountability for actions? It's not like she did anything illegal. Sure, she caused a scene and a disturbance and became viral and all this stuff. But freaking out and having a panic attack and stuff like that is nothing to send a huge apology to the internet. I, I don't understand why she's apologizing. They were completely unacceptable. Distressed or not, I should have been. I should have been in control of my. I fucking love her voice, by the way. I'm falling in love. I'm smitten watching this video. Emotions, and that was not the case. My use of profanity was completely unnecessary. You thought you saw a reptilian. There's absolutely every necessity to use profanity. <laughs> I, I'm not going to hold that against her. If somebody made her apologize to the internet because she cussed and freaked out, they're softer than baby poop. And I want to apologize to everyone on that plane, especially those that had children aboard. Can't imagine. Okay, I can see the children thing. I can see to the children. Your thing. kid, what in the world just happened? We all have our bad moments. Um, we all have our bad moments. I mean, just look at my channel. Bad moments all around. <laughs> some far worse than others. And mine happened to be caught on camera for the whole world to see. I definitely can imagine how embarrassing that situation can be for her. So I do sympathize with that. All jokes and laughing aside, I definitely can see how that can be embarrassing. Especially if you're not used to being in the limelight like this individual. That was just a day where her life literally changed within a minute like that. Multiple times. Sorry. Trying not to sound like She's getting mouth. pretty emotional. Um. So, this is. Well, it has been really comical for everyone. Um, and I have highly enjoyed so many of the memes. Yeah, the memes have been. Pretty, On the flip side, it awesome. is very invasive and unkind. So, right there, you can see that she's saying that it has been invasive. At times, and th and that's because people are going after her. You're a fucking gorgeous woman. The internet's full of fucking weirdos. They're gonna fucking come after you, unfortunately. And she didn't ask to be in this situation again. With that said, she is fucking hot. And and seriously, I would. Mm. I don't know what I would do without the love and support of my friends and family. They are loyal to a fault, and I don't know what I did. To I honestly them. just, you know, she um. took a month off. From the internet Sorry, it seemed a little sus to me i hope that i can use this experience and do a little bit of good in the world and that is what i intend to do i hope that you guys can accept my apology and i can begin to move yeah. on with my life there you go so apology now some people were actually saying that this ain't the same person uh, nah, I'm not going to go that far and say that this is a different person or this is AI, but I have seen that going around. Um, it's kind of hard to tell again because she was not really made up in the plane. She was pretty much 
dressed down in, in comfortable clothing. Right here, she's dolled up for sure. <laughs> so there you have it. Uh, the saga of the crazy plain lady has come to an end. And it is with an apology. I don't think she should have apologized, to be completely honest. But I think it's mostly out of embarrassment and basically doing this to uh, see if it slows down the people invading her privacy. Because, again, the internet's full of fucking lunatics that have no boundaries at all. And, uh, yeah, I, I maybe she was cloned. <laughs> I don't know. That's what people were saying, that this is a clone or it's AI. Regards of what, this lady was the news of the day in July. And, and I think she's a baddie. Oh, I'm in love, guys. I'm fucking in love with her. And, and just to clarify, I'm not one of you weirdos that's trying to fucking stalk her. All right. Anyways, what are your thoughts? Let me know this whole thing. I didn't get to talk about this on July 